What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. Our 2020 roster previews continue here on NCAA Football 21. It's actually NCAA Football 14, of course, but these are the updated rosters for the upcoming season. And if there was a new college football game coming out, it would be called NCAA Football 21. We're going to do Vanderbilt here, a team that you know has been kind of stuck down towards the bottom of the SEC. Uh, but we're going to show you what their roster looks like. And if you want to get these rosters, all the teams that we've completed so far, you can join us on Patreon. Join us on Patreon and you can get the updated rosters. And you can also help us to get these rosters done faster. So check it out. Link is in the description of this video. Before we get into the roster preview, just wanted to quickly tell you how all of you can help out with these rosters and help them help us to make them as accurate as possible. Uh, if there are number changes for players, if there are incorrect years that you see on this roster, please let us know. Uh, you know, some of these rosters we started doing back before even the spring rosters had been released, so some of the freshmen didn't have numbers yet, and we're just going to go back and do those later. Or maybe some players changed their numbers. Maybe a, a guy got redshirted last year and we missed that. And we've got them as a senior and actually they're a red shirt junior or something along those lines so if you see any of that you can help us out there also players that are no longer on the roster maybe players that transferred uh, that we had not taken off yet you can remind us of those players which of course i'm always checking the transfer portal you know i'll come back and, and get that anyways but it would just help out if, if you know something is is put out there for us to make sure we don't miss it a player that maybe has transferred or a player that is not really expected to play much not really on the two deep if they're a, an upperclassman uh, we'll probably take those guys off the rosters and just tell us who you think they should be replaced with uh, who do you think should be on this roster that is not uh, if it's a if it's a young player or freshman maybe they don't play but they're still going to stay on the roster because you got to have those young players uh, the ratings are pretty much set though we have a specific formula that we use that's based off of a bunch of different numbers stats uh, we use nfl draft scout for 40 times if it's not if a player's not on there we use their recruiting rating uh, just a lot of different things i'm not going to get into all of that but those are pretty much set you can make suggestions if you think a guy should go up or down if you'd like but they're probably not going to change and at least until the depth charts come out because at that point we will we will make some adjustments we're not going to have a, a backup running back rated higher than a starting running back obviously that would make no sense so there could be a little bit of adjustments there also when the all conference all american teams are announced we may tweak some players uh in the, in those cases as well but for the most part uh, it's all based off of this formula heights and weights don't worry don't worry about that we will come back and we will get all of those when the fall rosters are released because those numbers can change anyway so there's no point in trying to update that and then it changes again uh, so we'll knock that out once the fall rosters come out uh, but if you have any help here if you you know you guys follow your team closer than anyone if this is your team you probably know a little bit more about them than i do um, and maybe you know some things that i just have missed or, or whatever you can help us make these rosters as accurate as possible by giving us this information uh, i'll be constantly coming back and uh, checking these comments uh, when i see something that jumps out i'll make a note and when i get back on that team i will uh, make the adjustments and uh, you will again have a chance to get these rosters even if you jo don't join us on patreon of course if you join us on patreon you can get these rosters right now you can get all the updates and i really would encourage you to do that just to help us to kind of speed up this process with a little bit of funding but if, if you can't that's fine we will probably more than likely i'm gonna release we're going to release these rosters uh once they're complete so it may be august or whatever but we will give them out for free at some point and also you can just help us to make sure our simulations are as accurate as possible as we begin to ramp those up as well but if you can if you have any information here uh, please feel free to comment down below and give us any updates that we need to make all right here are the top players for the vanderbilt commodores and you see not a ton of talent on this roster but a couple of players that are rated really high you got deo Oda Bingo, and I'm sorry if I say some of these names wrong. Um, I don't recall how to pronounce his name, but he is a 92 overall defensive end. Very talented player there. And then Dimitri Moore, a middle linebacker, also a 92. So a couple of players over 90, but then there is a big drop off uh, when you look at the rest of this team. A Rutger Rettmauer, he is an 83. And again, I'm sorry if I pronounce the names wrong. If you're Vanderbilt fans, know exactly how to pronounce all these names. Uh, Tay Daly, he is an 83 overall at safety. Ben 
Rashannon, he is an 81 overall. And then you got Felite Hathamu, 81 middle linebacker. And I'm just wondering why? How do you how do you get so many players with these names that are hard to pronounce? Um, and it's all their top players too. Frank Coppett, he's an 81. And you got Wakefield and Brooks at running back. That's going to be an interesting battle to see who winds up getting the number one job there, of course, replacing Keyshawn Vaughn. And then Cam Johnson at wide receiver, also an 80. So we begin by looking at these top players, and now we go position by position. All right, quarterback. This is going to be really, really interesting to see who wins this battle. These ratings are all based off of their recruiting, 24-7 recruiting score, uh, the composite rating for, the, for these players. So there's no stats. To, to make any adjustments here and so it is what it is and that's what you got if you got a bunch of freshmen but Michael Wright he's a 72 Ken Seals a 71 Jeremy Musa a 66 and then Danny Clark I believe is a Juco guy also a 66 when we find out you know who who gets the starting job here and, and how this rotation looks I'm sure I will come back and change some of these ratings a little bit but again right now we just don't really have much to to base these ratings off of besides their recruiting rate uh, running back we talked about brooks and wakefield you've also got uh, Javion marlowe a 74 and then rocco griffin a 70. going to wide receivers now cam johnson an 80. Uh, chris pierce a guy with some experience he's a 78. cj bowler also a guy with experience a 76. james bostick 74. devin bodia jr a 71. abdul rahman 69, Logan Kyle, 69, Will Shepard, 68, and Jackson Winrow, a 66. And again, this was a team that, that was kind of tough to, to put together because you had a lot of new faces, didn't really find any projected depth charts or anything. So Vanderbilt fans, if you want to help me out on this roster, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Brashannon, he's an 81, top guy there at tight end. And then uh, Schoenwald, a 71, again, these names. LaMonica, a 70. The Kersey, 70. Those are the tight ends. We go to the offensive line now. Jonathan Stewart, a 73. And then Bradley Ashmore, 67. Left guard, Spinellis, 76. And McMoore, 74. Center, uh, Grant Miller, a 76. And then Cabo Wesley, a 73. Right guard, Cole Clemens, a 78. Dan Dawkins, 73. And then we have Tyler Steen, a 78. And Bryce Bailey, a 75. So, Offensive linemen are probably the position where their recruiting rating matters more than anything, uh, more more than other positions because you have stats for certain positions. Uh, for example, a quarterback's completion percentage, that's going to affect their accuracy. Uh, their QB rating affects their awareness. That's how the formula works. But offensive linemen, you don't really have a lot of stats. Well, you just kind of go by their recruiting rating and then you go by their experience if the player maybe was an all-conference uh, or all-american type player so a team like vanderbilt that doesn't get a bunch of good recruits you're going to see it in the offensive line and that's why you see all these players uh, really below 80 on that offensive line going to the defensive side of the ball now though we showed you the top player there 92 overall and then alex williams is 75 christian james 69 stone edwards 67. other side on the defensive line Rhett mauer is an 83 Birchmeyer, a 74. He's a redshirt senior, an experienced player, been there a while. Malik Langham, a 72. Derek Green, 68. And then Brandon Maddox, a 64. Defensive tackle, Cameron Tide, a 79. And then you have Davion Davis, a 77. Outside linebacker, Kenny Herbert, 78. Polino Bell, a 76. And Messina, a 71. Middle linebacker, Demetri Moore. Again, maybe their best player. He's a 92. A Fumui, an 81. Orgy, a 74. Default, Default Smith, 72. Again, these names. Uh, what What are they? Is that how they decide who to recruit? I mean, I don't understand here. Andre Mintz, a 79. McAllister, 78. Owusu, a 66. Cornerbacks, uh, Randall Haney, a 79. George, a 77. Mahoney, 75. Douglas, 71. D.C. Williams, 71. Hamilton, 69. And Anderson, a 66. And a lot of these players, a lot of these young players, as they move up the depth chart, when we get the fall depth charts, their rating will go up. So I, I highly doubt that, that this is going to be the final ratings for Vanderbilt. Again, because you got so many young players. Uh, going to the safety position now, free safety, Max Worship is 75. Um, Orgy is 72. Wright is 72. And then Deshaun Jerkins a 70. And um, so now we go to... 
Austin Orgy. Sorry, I was just looking at something here. And Anthony, I don't know. Maybe they're related. Maybe they're brothers. Vanderbilt fans, you, I'm sure, can tell me about that. Strong safety now. Daly at 83. Coppin at 81. That's a one position where they're pretty strong. Brendan Harris at 80. So three players all over 80. We'll see where they all wind up on the depth chart. The kicker is J Javen Rice at 75. And then the punter is Harrison Smith at 78. And that's it for Vanderbilt. Again, these are the top players of uh, Vanderbilt with, with some talent on the roster a little bit. But depth is going to be a major, major concern. And I think that's why they uh, will really struggle against the top tier teams in the SEC this season. Uh, but again, if you can help me out with these rosters, please, please do that down in the comments below so we can make them as accurate as possible. Remember, there will be a free version of these rosters for everyone once they're completed. Uh, so again, give me your thoughts on the roster, what adjustments you would make down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.